Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. And today I wanted to talk to you about fungus gnats, what they are, what attracts them to your house plants and how to get rid of them. If you don't know what fungus gnats are, they're tiny little short-lived gnats that resemble miniature mosquitoes almost and they'll be buzzing around your plants, they're very annoying. The adult gnats aren't particularly harmful to your plants but once they lay eggs into the soil and then they become larvae, that's when you're going to get problems because the larvae start eating the roots of your plants. Fungus gnats are attracted to damp, rich soil and if your soil is quite moist, there's going to be small amounts of fungus in the soil and that's what the fungus gnats feed off. Small plants, seedlings and cuttings are more likely to be affected by fungus gnats than your larger, more established plants. Plants that are more likely to be affected by these gnats are plants that you water more often, so things like Fetonia, Peace Lilies, Syngoniums, Croton. These are just some of the plants that I tend to water more often. So if you have an infestation of fungus gnats or you've seen a few buzzing around, or even if you haven't had any yet but you want to prevent them, here is a list of things that may help you. So the first thing you need to do if you've got an infestation of fungus gnats is to replace the top two to three inches of the soil. This is basically where the eggs are laid. They only tend to lay them maybe up to two inches into the soil. So if you just remove two or three inches, that should get rid of any eggs or larvae. The next tip is to water less often, especially during the winter months, and try and allow the top two to three inches of soil to dry out in between waterings. I know you can't do this with all plants because some of them do require consistently moist soil. There's a few other things you can do for the plants that like moist soil, which I'll go through in a minute. Another thing you can do is to apply a thin layer of sand or fine gravel on top of the soil. This will stop the gnats from burrowing into the soil. You can either use a mix of sand and then gravel on the top, or you can just use one or the other. I find the gravel looks a little bit nicer than the sand, it looks quite decorative. I'm going to be using the gravel method today on a peace lily that I just purchased a few days ago. Let me just grab it. So I'm just going to take it out of its decorative pot. If the soil goes right to the top of the pot, just remove a little bit so there's room for the gravel. You'll only need to put a fine layer of gravel on. You can usually tell if you've got gnats in the soil because when you water the plant, all the gnats come out of the soil. So I'm going to be using some horticultural grit, potting grit, that I got from a local garden centre. I just bought a huge bag of it. I'll link below all the products that I use in the description box. So all I'm going to do is just place a thin layer of gravel over the soil and probably make a right mess while I'm doing it. And just in case you were wondering, the gravel won't stop any new shoots coming through as long as it's just a thin layer. So I'd recommend using this method for any new plants that you bring home to prevent the fungus gnats getting into the soil in the first place. Look how stunning this lily is. The leaves are huge. These are so easy to care for. I do talk about caring for the peace lily in my low light houseplant video. She's living in my office upstairs. Next on my list is a product called Mosquito Bits, which is quite hard to find in the UK, but seems to be really popular in America. This can be applied to the top of the soil as a protective layer, or you can actually 
soak the granules in water and then just water the plant and then it'll all soak through and it's meant to kill the larvae. And this product seems to be quite highly recommended. The next thing you can do to get rid of fungus gnats is to use sticky traps. I've just got these. These work for getting rid of the adult gnats but not the larvae, so just bear that in mind. But they do work and they're really good. Another thing you can do is to leave little cups of water or water with apple cider vinegar and a bit of sugar and a bit of dish soap. I have small cups of water dotted around the house anyway to increase the humidity and there does seem to be gnats in them sometimes. The next thing on my list is to do a neem oil spray or drench. This method works really well for getting rid of a number of bugs actually. But you'll need some neem oil, some horticultural soap and some warm water and basically you just mix them all together to create a spray. Where's my spray bottle? Just make sure you're using warm water when you're mixing them together. If you use cold water, the oil just separates and it doesn't mix in properly. All the instructions are on the back of the bottles and I'll link below the products that I use. I found these to be very effective in getting rid of bugs and preventing bugs. So you can either spray your plant all over the leaves and the stalks, top of the soil to help prevent the fungus gnats or if you know you've already got an infestation and there could be larvae in the soil, you could do a soil drench, which is where you just pour the neem oil into the soil and let it drain through. This should kill off any larvae or eggs and then it should stop the adults coming back to the soil because it's already drenched in neem oil and they don't like it. Another alternative to the neem oil mix is baking soda, horticultural soap and water mix and apparently the baking soda raises the pH in the soil and this will stop the fungus growing basically which is what attracts the gnats in the first place as that is what they eat. Another thing you can do to combat gnats is to get some predatory insects and release them on your plant and then they will eat the fungus gnats. I'll put a list below of some of the insects that you can actually purchase and release on your plants. Personally I haven't done this before and it kind of creeps me out having even more bugs in the house even though they're harmless to the plants and harmless to you but I think I'll stick with the old neem oil and the gravel. <laughs> and one last thing that's meant to be quite helpful is to sprinkle a layer of cinnamon on the top of the soil as apparently the gnats hate cinnamon. I did actually try this the other day. I don't know if it's helping at all but the plants smell amazing. If anyone else has got any ideas on how you can get rid of fungus gnats, just leave it in the comments below so we can all have a look. I've been quite lucky with fungus gnats and I haven't had that many in my home, but as soon as I see any I try to get them under control as soon as possible because I do not want an infestation of those buzzing around my house. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found the video useful and as always if you've got any questions just leave them below in the comments. Take care everybody and I'll see you all soon, bye!